So the other day I was watching Manny MUA, uh, that is makeup artist, if you didn't know, and I got inspired. He did a video, top 10 things under $10 that he would always repurchase. So I thought, I bet I could easily recreate a video like that for my top 10 things under $10 that I will always repurchase. If you're interested in seeing that, I would be interested in seeing that and it's my own it's my own video literally stuff i already have and have already repurchased but i'm still interested in talking about it <sighs> stick around we are getting oh what the, stick around okay so i looked at prices for this stuff on majority of it was walmart.com because I figure everybody has access to that. And also a couple of things are from amazon.com because those are the two places that most of us will have access to. So some things, everything is under $10 and some things are even cheaper than the prices I'm gonna say because they're running specials on them right now, but I'm not putting sale prices up because I don't want somebody to watch this video six months from now and be like, uh, no, that's was not $6, that is $8.97. So, bear with me. I am going to go ahead and give you what they're regularly priced at. First, let me just say that I was basically able to put together almost a full face. A lot of these things I'm wearing on my face today, I'll mention the things that I am, uh, but the first thing <laughs> I'm not. So this is the Maybelline BB Dream. I'm going to say this wrong. This is the Maybelline Dream BB Fresh Foundation. It is just a BB cream. Maybelline has done BB creams since before BB creams became like a real popular thing. And I have been there for it with them for the whole thing. Like I've been along for the ride because they do a good job. It is a light coverage foundation. It's basically just if you want something to put on to kind of look like you put a little bit of effort into your skin or maybe just to look like you have naturally really good skin. That, wow, that sounded horrible. A BB cream, same thing with a CC cream. I think, I feel like a CC cream is a little bit more coverage, but BB creams are kind of like a tinted moisturizer if you want to think of it like that. Um, you can make your own BB cream very easily with your favorite foundation by mixing it with your favorite face cream. I do that a lot with a lot of my foundations. I will mix foundations too. Do you ever do that? you can. So this is a good one and it is only $8.30. I think this is one that I found on the walmart.com website. Maybelline BB Fresh. I will always repurchase. I have this in three different shades right now. I use it year round for when I just want a real light finish, but I need a little something. Good stuff. Also, I'm going to link these items uh, down below. So if you're interested in making like a full shopping list, go down below. Uh, this one, I'm cheating a little bit because what you're seeing is a four pack. This is the Real Techniques sponges for makeup application for, you can do cream bronzer, cream blushes, whatever with this, with these sponges, but the two count it is what is under $10. The two count is $8.97 on Walmart's website, but these are a go-to sponge for me. Let me see if I have an open one up here. Of course I don't, so I'll go ahead and get it out. You can see I've already been through three of them. It's a nice angled sponge. I get this wet and just press it in and it gives the most natural, smooth, beautiful finish for any foundation that I'm using. Some people will use these with powder foundations too. I wouldn't wet it first for that because I think that's going to leave like a weird finish for you, but I don't do that. I use powder foundations with either the puff that they come with or a, a brush. So these are great. And obviously if you're just buying one, they're even less. I think they're around like $5 if you're just buying one, but the two pack is $8.97. These are wonderful. I routinely buy these. The next item, this is a, something I've talked about before. It's my L'Oreal Hydra Perfect Loose Powder. This is what I will set the, my foundation with if I'm doing a liquid foundation. If I'm doing a powder foundation, I usually won't use this unless I feel like I've gone too hard on the bronzer or blush. And then I'll go over this with it a little bit just to kind of tame things down. This is really, really just the nicest, softest powder. I don't know if you can see it kind of floating through the air as I open it. It is translucent and it goes on 
so buttery soft. You don't even hardly feel that there's anything there on your skin and it just helps set everything beautifully. I love it. It's something that I will always repurchase. Okay, so the this is something I cannot believe that I don't have. CoverGirl, they absolutely knock it out of the park with this. Uh, I will show a picture of it, like, somewhere here. The CoverGirl Instant Cheekbones. Did I talk about... Wait a minute, hold on, pause. The Hydra Perfect Loose Powder is $9.95. That one is just, just scooting in under $10.00 totally worth it. Can't believe I don't have one of these uh, in rotation somewhere right now. This is only $5.97. They have several different shades. My go-to was always the Sophisticated Sable. This has a, it's called Instant Cheekbones for a reason. It's got the full shebang here. It's got a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight. It has everything that you need to build your cheekbones before any of us understood what like, and I don't mean makeup artists, okay? Obviously they've known all along things that we didn't know. They kept secrets from us. 14 year old me started using this stuff before I understood what bronzer and highlighter were for. And I still put that stuff where it belonged because there are instructions on the package without fully getting what it did for me. I just knew that it looked good. I appreciated the results of what I got from that. And it is one of the best products out there. They continue to sell it. When I had my incident when I was on vacation, forgot to pack all my makeup. I'll link that somewhere around here. I looked for that in the store because it would have been a three in one, several items that I didn't have to buy individual of and they didn't have it scared to death that they actually stopped making it they didn't uh i just couldn't find it at the cvs that i was at it is something i will forever repurchase says the person who doesn't have it uh in their vanity right now next up the okay maybelline maybelline we have to talk so maybelline brow ultra slim is my go-to brow pencil and i think i have one up here Whoa. Maybelline is tripping because they are trying to discontinue this one and replace it with this one. If you search online for this, the Maybelline Brow Ultra Sim, Slim, it will show you this, which is the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Express. These are not the same. It is not the same formula. It is not the same packaging. It almost looks like the same sort of product, but the application is different. This, what they're trying to force down our throats now, goes on and leaves a lot of um, litter around your brows. Like this goes on so clean and leaves such a perfect brow. It, it, as you go through it with your spoolie and like shape out your brows, there's not a lot of garbage left behind. This one, it, mm, Maybelline, it is leaving a lot of garbage. Please, y'all, you can make me like come to wherever you are and we're gonna have to talk. This is wrong, whatever. So the new one, $7.98. I'm, I'm probably gonna riot. Moving on. Physician's Formula Eye Booster. Uh, it's the Eye Booster 2-in-1 Liner and Serum. That's the official name. This is a eyeliner, a felt tip eyeliner, and it gives the nicest, most beautiful line. This is the one in brown. 99.9% .9 of the time I'm wearing brown eyeliner because I don't like the intensity of black. And it, sorry to flip you off, it goes on very smoothly and it is not budging once it goes on. It is not, I'm rubbing my finger over that and it is not going anywhere. The best, my favorite. There's a couple others that I like, but I'm telling you, this is the one I have bought over and over and over and over and over and will continue to buy over and go back to $8.98. Love it. They make a waterproof version of it. It's got little droplets on the packaging. That's the, how you know it's the difference. Oh, and probably also because it says waterproof. Uh, I don't like it as much. It's okay. It's not as bad, but I feel like the application, it bleeds a little bit more than this one does. So if you need waterproof, okay, but this is a, this is a fantastic one just for regular everyday wear. And I have watery eyes and that doesn't bleed on me. Moving on. Let's talk about your eyeshadow palettes. Wet n Wild Always Naked Palette. This one is on Amazon for under $10. They have it listed at $8.48 and you should know that they have this one called Always Nude. 
palette. It's actually called Always Naked. So when I put a link for it down below, it'll be linked as the Always Nude, but it's Always Naked. This one is something that I picked up on that I Forgot My Makeup Vacation video. And it has been, you can see it's pretty dirty because I grab it all the time. It has been a f ooh, fantastic palette for me. You can make this as casual as you want or as glamorous as you want. I will say though, there are a couple of the, the more sparkly colors that are going to move around and they're gonna make a mess on your face. So I kind of avoid those two in particular, but all the other colors, they work so nicely together and they blend well into each other. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today and very happy with the look. And I know it's not going anywhere. Okay, this is a solid palette and it's $8.48 on Amazon. We'll repurchase. I don't use every color that's in here. I'm not much for this one in the top corner. I have not used, uh, I think that's the only one maybe. That, no, I've used that one too. I think that's the only one I haven't really dipped into. But once this gets old enough or I start hitting pan on some of the colors that I use most regularly, I'll repurchase because at $8.48, that's like... That's a no-brainer. It's a really, really quality, worthwhile palette. Wet n' Wild does great eyeshadows. I, I bet you probably haven't heard of this mascara I'm about to tell you about. It is really, this is why I love YouTube. Okay. If it wasn't for YouTube videos about makeup, I wouldn't know about this stuff. This is not sold in stores. You will not find this anywhere except the internet. I found out about this particular mascara through a YouTuber that I started watching years ago and she raved about this. So I thought, let me try this. Uh, it is super affordable. This is the Catrice Glam and Doll. And she would say the name so fast that I couldn't keep up with it. I was like, Glam or Doll, what? Catrice? Glam and Doll. Glam and Doll, okay? They have several versions of it. This is the uh, Easy Wash Off Mascara, $6. $6 on Amazon. They have another one that's really good that is only like 3 or $4. And uh, I will talk about that, I'm sure, in another video. But this one comes off real easily. It goes on beautifully. It layers on top of itself beautifully. It's really good. Really, really good. Like I, I love this so much. I will never not have this. Like I think I went about a year without having any of the Catrice Glam and Doll line. And when I finally got it back in my life, I was like, what was I doing? And this is the kind of mascara that will make you look at your high-end mascaras in your collection and go, why am I wasting my money on you? We need to talk setting spray. My favorite, oh no, I can't say that. My second favorite setting spray. This is the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. This comes in right at $10. Like it's like they knew that I was doing a video on $10 items and wanted to make sure that they could get in it. Uh, down to about here. This I have repurchased a couple times already. There's something about this that just, first of all, the mister is better than MAC Fix Plus Mister that I have on my, I've had been through two bottles of MAC Fix Plus and this is better. When this bottle is done, I will repurchase it because of the product that's in it, but I will save this container and pour my MAC Fix Plus into this container because I like this Mister that much better. But the product that's in here, it, if I'm doing like a powder foundation especially, but I'll use this over everything that I have. If I'm doing a powder foundation and I spray this over it at the end of it, it just kind of takes away that powdery finish and makes everything look nice and soft and natural and it is beautiful. And I do believe that this makes a, a difference in staying power, but most importantly in the appearance, the natural finish of it. It does not make you look sweaty or glossy or shiny in any way. It does say dewy finish, but it is not a, uh, doesn't leave like a sheen or anything on your skin. You can see I just sprayed it and any kind of reflection that you're seeing is literally just the highlighter that I'm wearing. It's just a perfect natural finish. We'll always, always have this in my collection. And then finally for lips, 
I kind of cheated on this because, hear me out, not on price, but because there's two. Because some people like lipsticks and some people like gloss. And I wanted to talk to both of you out there. I am both of you. Mm -hmm. So if you are more interested in like a lipstick, this is the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick. This is the kind of, mine is in the shade Berry Brown, $6 and I think 83 cents is the exact price of it. And this is the sort of thing that you can apply. I have it on my lips right now, but I'll reapply it so you can see. And you don't have to really look at it in a mirror. You can just put it on and know it's going on nicely. It's not smearing all over the place. You're gonna have a nice, even smooth finish. It is moisturizing and it's all you need. However, if you want to go over it, also it's got kind of a, a bit of a fruity, a bit of a taste. This is kind of a little bit of a fruity one. So if that's something that's a problem for you, you may want to pass on that one. The other item is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss, $8.99. This is such a great gloss. Now I will caution, the scent slash taste on this one, all I'm saying is that the, the color and the shine are so good that I'm willing to put up with this. This is what we're working with here. It even looks really nice over that Neutrogena color stick. It's not like so pungent that it's gonna last all day, but you will notice it and uh, when you initially put it on. So the nice thing about it though, is that it has the most beautiful sheen with just a little bit of color. So you can kind of see the way the light hits it, this topaz color, oh, it's just beautiful. So when I have bare lips and put this on, it's just that barely there, fresh wash of color that is also moisturizing my lips and looks like I just made just a little bit of effort. Oh, fun fact about these, they have some sort of little bit of like, I wanna say propellant, that is not the right word, but there's some sort of, watch this, watch the word I'm looking for. Did you see how that kind of shoots out? Yeah, and so when you go through airport security with one of these, they don't like it. They don't like that. So if you get stopped, it's this. It's this. You can tell them, you can blame me. You can, don't, wait, don't do that. Don't mention me, but um, it is this. It has some sort of little something in there that shoots the thing out shoots the applicator out and uh they don't like that part no. so that is my 10 products under 10 what are some of the things that you will constantly have in your rotation of like makeup or skincare or hair products what i don't know like what is it that are your solid go-to's things that you have tried and repurchased and you're just you're just your faves like things that are affordable drugstore prices that we can all benefit from if you have anything to share with the group note it down below so that we can all benefit from your experience because I just love this idea and when I saw Manny do it I will link his video down below so that you can see what he was inspired to make notes of as well I just want to know like like what are your go-to's what are you doing? What's going on? So anyway, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you like this style of video and you want to see some more, maybe top 10 under 20, please don't ask me to do 20 under 20. This took a long time to, like, look at everything. And then I was going, oh, yeah, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. If you like this style of video, let me know. We could do this again, like maybe next year, see if things have changed. Maybe, maybe you don't like it and you can keep that to yourself. So, uh, click, click, uh, click yourself. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end. I appreciate you guys. And I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.